These reports claim to show the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, Japan. The world's first atomic bomb. But none of these are the bomb they called Little Boy. A DW investigation has revealed that the wrong footage has been used for decades by media companies around the world, even our own, to portray this historic moment. Let's go back to that mission in 1945. The official camera operator, Bernard Waldman, recorded the explosion, but his film wasn't developed properly and was lost. Another scientist, however, Harold Agnew, who observed both the Hiroshima and Nagasaki missions aboard an escort plane, had brought his personal camera with him. The Hoover Institution in California, where his 16mm film reel is held, believes his are the only film recordings of both mushroom clouds. Agnew's footage of Hiroshima is rarely used in TV reports and documentaries. His shots of the second bomb dropped on Nagasaki are often used instead. The earliest misuse DW was able to find, a short film produced by the U.S. government. The Associated Press gives the date of publication as 1945. Just 50 seconds later, 15 miles from ground zero, the Enola Gay is rocked by the blast. The Nagasaki bomb was immensely more powerful than the Hiroshima weapon, the Nagasaki weapon being a plutonium bomb, and it had far more destructive power. The, the, the mushroom cloud is, is more substantial, is, is bigger, is, you can tell from comparing the, 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 two, the two bombs, and the photography is more persuasive, more convincing. This other explosion has been used to depict Hiroshima at least since 1964, when it appeared in a Pate news film. The first atomic bomb hit an enemy target. But it's neither Hiroshima nor Nagasaki. A search of atomic history archives revealed that this massive blast is almost certainly the Cherokee hydrogen bomb test over Bikini Atoll, over a decade after the end of World War II. Errors in early productions were saved in major archives, including the Associated Press and the U.S. National Archives. This footage continues to be distributed to media companies around the world. The errors may have been the result of a simple oversight, but if so, they occurred at a time when the narrative about the U.S. war effort was tightly controlled by the government. Uh, certainly, uh, the U.S. has been very determined to show off the immense power of the weapon uh, to demonstrate uh, its, its power to force, supposedly, the Japanese to surrender. I can't really speculate about whether they were, they were deliberately uh, concocting a, uh, a misrepresentation. But if I was told that was the case, it certainly wouldn't surprise me. For 75 years, the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki have fought to preserve the record of the bomb's devastation. When DW contacted the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum, they told us, we sincerely hope that every interested party could join us in conveying the destruction in an accurate way. <laughs>